Hi, hi. So today I'm going to try a bend back, finally. Um, nice simple pattern that's um, very useful in a range of situations in the estuaries, barrows, jacks, down south, smaller versions in impoundments can be very useful as well. Anyway, we'll get started. So I'm going to time mine on 1 C70 ST. Um, obviously it's called bend back, so the first thing that we need to do is bend the hook. Um, about a third of the way along the shank. And then we bend. So there we go, bent. Um, this particular point in time, you can add some lead. Like I have on this one. Um, or just, if you want a little bit extra weight, or you can leave it. Leave the thread, leave the hook there. But anyway, we'll get started. So what you need is some white thread. So your standard late fish colours will work. So white, tan over white, pink over white, chartreuse over white, yellow over white. Um, anyway, we'll get started. <clears throat> so you will need, once you're started, you'll need some Ackles, white, and grizzly. You'll notice that this is a, a cape, I think. Um, we'll be looking at these little feathers down in here. Some white bucktail, some pale sparkled polar flash, and in this case, some chartreuse bucktail. And we finish it off with some, uh, they're calling 732 inch stick on eyes. So it's only a 1 0, so we don't want it to be too bulky. We'll use two feathers um, on the back. So, as the name suggests, it's a bend back deceiver. Um, the difference between this and lefty's deceiver is essentially that it's on a bend back hook. So, with my two feathers, I'm actually going to splay them out like so, just to give a little bit of more movement or encourage a little bit of more movement in the in the water column. And I'll generally be fishing these in fairly shallow water, so I don't really want a lot of weight. So we've got our feathers tied in, we trim off. And then we get some polar flash. out the ends and it starts. Double it over. Bang bang bang. Fire in. So it extends the side of the hook. So this you'll notice that the flash will extend beyond the tips of the feathers. Go with a little bit of insurance. So. First things small. 
smallish sort of lump of butter. Set it there, tie it in, loose wraps, gradually tie it off. We go to the other side to do the same. Second lock, same deal, gentle, gradually. This is starting to come together. We've got just one more piece of white bucktail. About the same sort of size and thickness as the first two. Once you're happy with it, bring it in place. Don't be afraid to use a few wraps just to build up your head. Get your bodkin. around the hook, hook point. So we're doing, doing all right now. Um, we're now at the point where we get a couple of these little fellas. We get a couple of paired grizzly hackles. These are the same sort of hackles you probably use on little dry flies if you're so inclined. Tie in one. Tie in the second, trying to keep it fairly similar in length. Now, I use a bit of flash in this. You don't have to use a lot of flash. You can use as little as you want, but I'm up to the second lot of flash for this, second and last lot of flash for this particular fly. Same as previous. Tease out the ends. Double it around. Then, just to finish it off, just a little bit of chartreuse bucktail. Again, one, two, fairly loose wraps, then we go there. So these flies are actually surprisingly weedless as well, without the need for a monofilament sprag or loop or however you want to go. So once you're happy, you just have to 
deal with that. And then one, two, three, finish her off, trim, right, so you can take it out of the, out of the vise, you can see in most instances, so far the hook point is covered. It's nice. Just with the gate of the hook, put it back in there. So, eyes, which are of course optional. So, um, just a little bit of UV resin to hold it down. Here's second of your eyes. So I'm using Rage That Super Thin for my UV resin here. And we're happy with that. Just sort of build up our head. As we go around, a little bit of spinning just to sort of even her out a little bit. And there we have a fishable, workable fly. And just one last thing to finish it off. Again, optional, is just to maybe trim a couple of the flashy fibers. And now we have Ben back to Saber. Awesome. Thanks for watching.